everybody. Today in our hockey stick handling series at Marcel's Hockey School, we are going to be stick handling through a series of pucks or cans or whatever you have to use at home. I'm going to show you a series of four drills, starting from the easiest one, going towards the hardest one, that you can do to work on those quick, small hand movements. So the first drill, the basic variation, we're just going to try to stick handle normal through the pucks. Looks like this. Now you may have noticed, I see a lot of people when they're stick handling through and they walk also through the pucks. It looks like this. The reason I don't really like that is I like to picture these pucks, cans, whatever you have as my D-man. And in a game, oftentimes, if I'm going to be coming on a D-man, I'm not coming right at him. I'm usually a little bit on the side and there's absolutely no way that I can walk through the D-man. So I picture these as defenders and I always try to pick a side to walk through. Another key point is this is a drill where I like to move the puck as close as possible to the pucks. There's some drills where wide motions are good. This is a drill where I like to keep the puck as close as possible and really try to be quiet. We shouldn't be hearing anything. Have the puck on the stick almost the entire time, only lifting up for a very small motion from forehand to backhand. So once you've gotten the hand of the basic drill, you can work on the drill only on your forehand. It's going to look like this. It's a little bit harder. It's an important move in hockey though. Oftentimes, I might have the puck here. Maybe I want to shoot. And the defender is standing right in front of me, so I need to be able to change the angle on the puck. So I have to puck, if I have the puck out here and I can bring it in with my toe over here, then I might have an angle with which I can shoot on the goal with. So one more time. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Try not to hit the pucks, but not hitting every one of them is a little bit hard. So, we've got the first two levels, level number three. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this. We're also going to keep it on our forehand, but we'll be walking straight, not pulling it in like this, but sideways toe dragging it the whole way. Looks like this. toe drags it's a lot of fun it's kind of hard though but if you practice it you'll get the hang of it as well one more time cap the puck here really turn your wrists over feel the puck press against your stick and then pull it across And the final level of the drill, this is definitely the hardest level, but once you get the hang of it, you're going to feel really good about yourself, is to do it only with your backhand. It looks like this. Now the backhand toe drag is becoming more and more popular. Backhand toe drag looks basically like this, you're faking a shot, moving the, moving the puck forward, and then pulling it over with the toe on your backhand. And this toe pull is by far the hardest part of the backhand toe drag, so this is a good drill to drill it continuously. Make sure to start off, continuously is kind of hard, make sure to start off slow, 
Get the feel, pull. Get the feel, pull. Get the feel, pull. And once you get the hang of it, you can pick up speed. So that's it for stick handling through pucks or cans or whatever you have at Marcel's Hockey School. Hope you like the drill. Have fun practicing. See you next time.